Hi, and welcome to the Battery Shop. Some vehicles like this 2012 Chevrolet Impala have their 12 volt starting battery somewhat hidden by, in this case, a fender brace, some electronics that are gonna to have to be moved out of the way. And although the replacement procedure is fairly straightforward, we're gonna to have to take a few extra steps to get the job done. However, before we begin a procedure like this, always check with the original equipment manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions so that you can become familiar with the procedure you don't forget anything, you have all the tools that you need, and you can safely replace a battery in a vehicle like this. Now with our gloves and safety glasses on, the first step is to remove the negative battery cable from the negative battery terminal. And using the proper size wrench, in this case a 10 millimeter, to loosen the nut and remove the negative battery cable from the negative battery terminal. Our next step is to remove the wiring junction box. Now we can remove the positive battery cable from the junction box and using the proper size wrench, in this case a 13 millimeter, we'll loosen the nut and remove the cable from the junction box. Next, loosen the fasteners that secure the electrical center board. In this case, I need my seven millimeter wrench. Next, unlock the tabs on the electrical center board and lift up on the electrical center board. Next, we'll remove the front diagonal brace, starting with the front two bolts, and I'll need my 13 millimeter socket for that. And now I'll remove the rear bolt. And move the brace to the side. Now we can remove the cover from the positive battery cable. And using my 10 millimeter wrench, I'll loosen the nut. And remove the positive battery cable from the positive battery terminal. Next, using my 13 millimeter wrench, I'll loosen the battery hold down bolt and remove the hold down bolt and the battery hold down retainer. Now we can remove the old battery. When installing the replacement battery, be sure the battery terminals are facing in the right direction. Now reinstall the battery hold down and the battery hold down bolt and tighten to 13 foot pounds. The next step is to reinstall the positive battery cable onto the positive battery terminal, but don't pound the terminal on as this can cause internal battery damage. And retighten the nut to 89 inch pounds. Next, reinstall the accessory wiring junction block. and retighten the fasteners to 62 inch pound. Next, reinstall the negative battery cable onto the negative battery terminal and retighten the nut to 89 inch pounds. Now we can reinstall the right front diagonal brace.
last step is to reinstall the electrical center cover. And we're done.